Once a man climbed to the top of a mountain, filled with joy at the thought that he might be the only person to have reached such heights. However, his elation was interrupted when he noticed a monk seated quietly in meditation. The sight astonished him, a solitary figure in such a remote place. Approaching the monk, the man asked with surprise, What are you doing here in such solitude? Aren't you afraid to be alone in this lonely place? The monk calmly replied, I am meditating. I live alone on this mountain, and I do not fear solitude. The man persisted, But how do you manage to live here alone? Don't you feel lonely? The monk smiled gently and responded, Solitude has often been viewed negatively, and many avoid it. However, there are numerous benefits to being alone, which is why I prefer solitude. Intrigued, the man admitted, I come from a bustling city where I am always surrounded by friends, colleagues, and family. When I find myself alone, I often feel bored and plagued by negative thoughts. Please tell me, how can I also find enjoyment in solitude? What are the advantages? The monk paused thoughtfully before replying, If you are truly eager to understand, then I will explain. And so the monk began to speak. The first benefit of being alone is, that it can make you more efficient people who spend most of their time alone are more efficient in their work. It is because being alone makes their mind more focused, because of which when they do any work they can do it with more concentration and in less time. When we are among people our energies are scattered but when we spend time alone our energies accumulate in one place. That's why people who spend most of their time alone have more concentration of energy and focus. Due to which they can do their work more efficiently and in less time. The second benefit of being alone is, that it sparks ideas and creativity in us. When you are alone many types of new ideas come to your mind this is the reason that whatever it mentions Einstein, Newton or any other scientist has invented could be possible due to the power of being alone. That's why all artistic people like to be alone because being alone brings new ideas and new thoughts through their minds. It gives your brain a chance to wander in the sky of endless imagination. Which can give new dimension to your thoughts and you can do many new things. Therefore if you want to do something in your life then you must spend some time in solitude. Third benefit of solitude is that people who spend time alone are fast learners. People who live alone learn faster than others. There are two reasons behind it. One is that their concentration level is high and the second is such people spend more time exploring things or reading books. Because of which their brain become more capable of absorbing knowledge. That's why they learn quickly in comparison to others. Therefore students or other people who are involved in more mental work must try to spend some time alone every day. Fourth benefit of solitude is that those who spend time alone are happier than others. It is said that happiness always comes from within. One who cannot be happy alone cannot be happy even in the midst of thousands of people. People who spend time alone learn to be happy within themselves. They feel complete in themselves and consider themselves as their best friends. Once you become friends with yourself then you can always be happy within. Then you don't have to go out looking for happiness but wherever you will go you will feel happy. Fifth benefit is that people who spend time alone are good listeners and get respect in society. Extrovert people are more impatient and they do not listen to someone completely and intervene in between by speaking. They become more talkative and due to this they lose their respect in society. But those who spend time alone develop patience in themselves when they talk to others they listen to them patiently until others has completed. 
They keep silent most of the time they think before they speak and when they speak people get impressed and they develop a sense of respect for them. Because of this they become dearer to others and get more respect in society. Sixth benefit is it improves your relationships This one thing might seem contrary but silence and solitude actually increase empty and the ability to connect with others on a meaningful level. Solitude can help you appreciate the people in your life more and can help you diagnose problems in relationships and recognize your behavior and habits. And thus it can improve your relationships. Seventh benefit is that it can improve your brain and mental health. Solitude and silence is wonderful for your brain health. It makes your mind calm and peaceful due to which your brain starts to produce less cortisol which is a stress hormone and starts to produce more dopamine and serotonin. Which is a happiness hormone due to which you start to feel happier than before. The eighth benefit is that spending time alone helps you in meditation and increases your self-awareness. We all know that how important it is to practice meditation to live a relaxed and peaceful life in today's hectic world. But meditation is not everyone's cup of tea. In meditation, one has to sit alone for longer periods. One has to concentrate his mind one needs to have patience and discipline. And all these qualities come automatically in a person who is used to spending time alone. Therefore those who spend time in solitude can easily practice meditation. Also when you sit with yourself in silence all of your public masks and societal rules are stripped away. And you are alone with your true self. You are allowed to just be who you are. And along with that, you are free to start to recognize your true self. You can begin to access deeper knowledge about yourself and become comfortable with who you are. This will increase your self-awareness and will make you more mindful. After saying this the monk said spending time alone has many benefits in our lives. Not only in our material life but also in our spiritual life. Therefore everyone must spend some time alone in their routine life. After hearing this the man's face was full of gratitude and there was a gleam in his eyes. In his heart, he assimilated the monk's words and decided to spend some time every day alone. Then he bowed to the monk and left from there. So friends if you also follow the advice of the monk and spend some time in solitude every day then you can to take advantage of these benefits told by the monk and change your life. If you like this story make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our videos with everyone. Thanks for watching.